Hey everybody, it's uh, CRS trapping back again. Um, this is uh, the bait location. I know I keep saying uh, I'm going to show it, I'm going to show it, and stupid phone and all that crap, but anyhow, this is the bait location. Uh, the bait location itself is actually just up here in the top of the hill here a little bit. I'm going to take these up there, um, but I just wanted to just let you see basically what kind of area it is so if you guys have any suggestions please let me know um, or tips or anything um, but what it is is it's sort of open a bit like this I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see that there maybe that blocks it out a bit but yeah so it's it's somewhat open like out here where I am um, but of course as you start to go up that way it thickens up uh, a bit um, and it has open spots but uh, yeah so what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll just take his over now and just give you a overview so again same thing right I've got uh, I've got it out in front here it's uh, quite open I know a lot of uh, I, I've watched a lot of your guys's videos and uh, uh, I notice a lot of them don't like how uh, closed in sometimes uh, stuff is so I tried to leave it somewhat open I think I think I did but yeah so yeah so right up uh, where am I at here yes so Right up along this fallen log right here is uh, one of the spots where I've got the beaver. So again, when I just come up in here. Now I chose this location because as you guys can see all in back of here, this is all natural little openings. And I didn't want to really disturb that. This stuff... A lot of this stuff right here I put here just to sort of block or whatever it's more open on this side of the the hill um, but again all that stuff was already sort of down I just sort of piled it over a bit so um, what I'm thinking is up through here and on this side seems to be um, the way they're coming in I'm thinking just from what I can see on the ground but again there's not much for me to really see for tracks or anything right so you can see sometimes in the moss something's been in here but but yeah I've got a beaver he's somewhat still there uh, right here on this tree and then uh, right up, uh, where's it at, right in behind this tree, just on the other side there, I've got another beaver, so this is the bait location, so, but again, I, I just, uh, when I seen the natural openings here, and stuff, I thought if I just, if I blocked off the other side here, and stuff, that they would just naturally use that and uh, yeah like I say the uh, the one beaver he's pretty much gone off the tree up here and the one right here he's still there you can see his tail right there I don't want to go right up on him or anything but I'm quite sure you guys get the idea of what's up there and what's not um, so yeah so this is the bait location this is the one um, this is the one that I kept uh, saying I wanted to show and uh, uh, some of the local guys that uh, do some deer hunting and bear hunting up this way they were telling me they seen uh, a lot of coyotes and uh, bobcats and a lot of sign for them so this is, uh, this is that location but again same thing it, it opens up pretty good over there uh, on that side, but uh, same thing it thickens up pretty much a little bit 
once you go past here, you get into like uh, the alders and stuff like that over and through there. So I was thinking of snaring that way and definitely over on this side of it. So that is the bait site. This is the uh, this is the one that I've been concentrating on the most and just keeping an eye on it and what have you and stuff like that. So, but yeah, like when I when I do my circle, like uh, I usually circle the base just so I can get a general idea as to maybe see some trails or anything like that. But again, like I say, like you can see. You can see sometimes like something like that's a track there that's a track there that's another one there so something is definitely coming here and again like I say uh, uh, when I do when I do my circle when I come in I usually I usually come in from yeah there's a stump okay yeah I usually come in from down through here and come up around and do my circle and usually come back down through here but uh, yeah so this is the general bait site again uh, like I say the bait itself is like literally right right here so this is a basic uh, overview of uh, the area you guys seen where the actual bait was itself but uh, like I say, you can see, like, it opens up quite a bit and closes and stuff. So I'm thinking, like, from what I've seen from other guys, I'm assuming snares, like, through here, this stuff, and all along the edges, um, and stuff like this, I'm assuming, like, out in front of me, that kind of stuff, where it's sort of, uh... The alders or whatever the hell they're called, but yeah. So yeah, that's the bait site. So if you guys uh, want to give me some suggestions or tips or anything like that, by all means, I I take them and uh, I apply them. So uh, so yeah. So that's that. As far as the uh, as far as uh, anything else goes. Uh, for uh, for advice or anything like I, I don't even know if I should put uh, footholds in here or snares like I I don't know I um, I'm, I'm gonna be purchasing some uh, some number uh, threes over the uh, over the summer and uh, I'm gonna try some some pens I think maybe next year see just sort of see how that goes, or little cubbies, I think they're called, but yeah, so there's the bait site, sorry about the delay everybody, like say I got a crappy phone and trying to, uh, trying to work out a deal right now with a guy, uh, uh, he needs some flooring done and, uh, some work and I'm trying to get the GoPro out of him for, for the work, so yeah. So we're working on getting a camera, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah. So there's our, uh, this is the, uh, the famous bait site that I keep, <laughs> that I keep telling everybody about and never get a chance to show it. So I just, uh, I stopped, uh, my phone and just shot right up here after I found, uh, some stuff missing. That'll be, uh. That'll be in uh, the other video. Oh my. So yeah. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on how to avoid uh, assholes and trap thieves, by all means, give me some suggestions on that too. <laughs> uh, yeah, other than that, uh, we're still plugging along. Uh, I think the season for me is pretty much done. This, I... Uh, March or no yeah the 28th 
Yeah, the 28th of February is the last day for otters. And otters and cats, I think. But I know it's coming to an end, basically, for me. Uh, there's some... I think I can still get uh, rats and beavers into March, but from what I've heard, it's really not worth it. So, but uh, on that note, yeah, for first year trapping, man, I had a blast. I really did. I know I didn't catch a whole lot and stuff like that, but quite honestly, like I say, for me, the learning of it, just being outside, um, getting to make some uh, new friends there, uh, you guys on YouTube and stuff, man, has just been great. Uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of positive people, uh, helpful people. So, yeah. So it's definitely, uh, definitely something I'm glad I got into. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, uh, I really, really enjoyed it. It, it was a lot of fun, a lot of learning, uh, a lot of ups and downs. But overall, yeah, I, I really, really had a blast. And uh, I really can't uh, wait till next year, quite honestly. Now that I uh, got a general idea as to what I should and shouldn't be doing. So, um, yeah, same thing. If you guys uh, have any good suggestions for, like, the off-season on how to maybe, you know, get stuff ready in the woods and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, that's great. But, uh, yeah, so this is the bait site again, like I say. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys. I'll turn you back on in a bit.